Hey guys, welcome to today's video where we're going to show you a feature inside of the question note that allows you to prevent a lot of issues for the user and prevents them from getting stuck inside of a loop, basically. So what this feature is, is basically allowing you to let users, or the site at least, if users can scroll up and press other buttons while still inside the question note. This allows you to prevent users from getting inside of a loop inside the actual question note. So if they, for example, made a wrong button choice and go towards a question note and they actually meant to press the other button, they can now scroll up, press the other button and continue that route instead, totally ignoring the question block they previously were in. So the way this works, as you can see, a really simple setup here to demonstrate it, is we first have a text note. Inside this text note, we have two buttons. One goes towards a question note. And then from the question note, which is just a regular text input, automatically continues to the second text note to basically reply back towards the user what they just typed in. On the first text note, we have a second button that goes towards a third text note, and that states continue with option two. Now, if we just preview as is, so let's just do that. Let's do that inside of a web pop-up. And from here, we first get the text note with two options, and then we will be able to go towards the, for example, if we press option one, we're going to go towards the question note. But what happens if a user now presses option two? If they scroll up and they actually wanted to press that second option, you will now see that the user gets stuck inside of a loop, inside the question note, right? Because it is not registering any input and then refers them back towards the question note. So to prevent this, there is a new option called button click handler. And if we're going to take a look, if we're going with that specific question note, we can scroll down and then we will see button click handler. So by default, it's set like this. So default, we have two options. So we can ignore the button and trigger a no match. Basically what already happens if you just have it at default, but you can actually define it as well if you really wanted to. Or you can go with the second option and that is to process the button and skip the question, basically expiring the question and then go back towards the previous step, previous button, right? So if we're going to go with the second one and publish, so let's take a look and preview the steps now. So if we're going with the web preview pop-up again, we now first get the options again. So let's still go towards the question note. But if we go towards the question note now and press the option two button, what happens is we should get the question note ignored and we go towards the connected step inside the second button. So let's press it. And now we, there we have it, continue with option two. So this is the way that you can overcome users from getting stuck inside of a loop if they decide to go a different route uh, by pressing a different button inside of your chatbot by just scrolling up the conversation and press any of the buttons there. Let us know what you think about this feature because we think it's really, really useful in preventing the user getting frustrated by just trying to get out of that question note. And this is just a really simple solution and provides so much value for the end user. So try it out, have fun, let us know what you think. And for now, have a great day. Take care and talk soon.